If you are still using multiple instruction files for different agents, I have really good news for you. We arrive to the point where we have just one file for all the agents and the name of this file, agents.md. If you're working with multiple agents, it's so frustrated to have multiple files that contains the same instructions. You end up with this situation when you have to keep update all that five or six files. That's why big companies like OpenAI and Tropic create a project Agents MD in order to simplify and create just a single predictable place for agent to look at. So it's a simple open format for guiding coding agent. It's already used by more than 20,000 open source projects. So if you never heard about this kind of files before, think of it as a readme for machines or in our case for agents. This file contains build commands, environment setup, testing instructions, styling guide, and other contexts to help AI assistants perform tasks correctly. It's something similar to a readme file that we are using for GitHub projects. It took some time for big corporation to come to kind of consensus. And finally, in August 2025, we have agents.md standard. If you are using Codex, Jules, Cursor, or any other agents that support this standard, you can combine your existed files into one by simply use two shell commands. One to rename the file and another one to create symbolic link for backward compatibilities in order to make sure that all the tools that's still not updated using the right instructions. As you can see, it's a simple markdown file. There are no required fields or strict schema to learn. So in this file, you can include setup commands that will help navigate the agent to install dependency and build the project, rules of formatting and design patterns, instructions for running tests, preferring commit message formats, and other useful stuff like security consideration or some performance tips. Plus, you also can add the context of your project. If you want to start using agent.md file, create an agent.md at the root of your repository, Add all the instructions that you want and then just save it. And from now on, the agent will going to use the instructions from your file and your code and styling will be consistent. So if you are using cursor, jewels, codex, you safely can rename the instruction file, create a symbolic link, and that's it. From now on, you don't have to support 10 different files with different instructions. And as always, try to follow the best practices, be explicit and concise, make sure the instructions is up to date, link to existed docs instead of duplicate them, and use multiple files for different parts of Mono Repo. This is really useful for those who has really big repository. And that's probably it. I hope you like this video. If yes, click like share and don't forget to watch my other videos. Thank you. Bye.